Here's a sandhill crane that we uh, picked up in in uh, in DeBerry. Here's the uh, the sandhill crane that we picked up in DeBerry. Um, he's uh, he's sleeping now on gas. Um, we have him on our uh, on our machine right here. Um, so he's definitely out of pain. Um, there's nothing that we can do to fix this leg. Um, he's missing his foot here. Uh, and um, the Migratory Bird Center is, uh, says that we cannot even try to fix this. Um, even though we could amputate it here, um, he would be hobbling on this foot here. And it would cause what we call bumble foot. And um, you can already see this bird starting to get calloused up here. Or he's been struggling um, on this foot. So what happens with one foot is they wind up getting a lot of damage to this, to their foot. It's like hopping around us, hopping around on one leg. Um, so it's really sad. Um, these are one of our favorite birds to work on. The sandhill cranes are, um, and it's uh, it's a sad thing to have to to euthanize a perfectly healthy bird, except for. Um, he's missing the foot here, um, but um, but we have to, and he'll fly away and hopefully become an eagle or another beautiful sandhill crane. So um, it's a sad story for this guy, but we went all the way over there, an hour ride and an hour back, a two-hour trip, and um, the man that found him would not give us one dollar for our fuel. Um, we are volunteers. I had to pay for everything myself, and uh, he wouldn't donate one dollar to this bird, um, to the cause. So it's sad for the bird, it's sad for us that we get no funding from the state or the government. Um, but we went over there because I could not stand to sleep at night and know that this guy was out there in the freezing rain and the cold um, all by himself. So we do what we do, and we can sleep at night. So. Anyway, stay tuned. Uh, we'll see you in another day.